हेलो एवरीवन वेलकम टू द मर्करी वर्चुअल होप यू आर डूइंग गुड टुडे आई एम गोइंग टू कंटिन्यू विद योर सेम मॉड्यूल दैट इज द प्रोसीजर प्रोग्रामिंग मॉड्यूल एंड इन द लास्ट क्लास वी हैव स्टडीड अबाउट चैप्टर नंबर 18 दैट इज ग्राफिक्स अंडर विंडोज एज वेल एज ड्यू द प्रैक्टिकल अप्रोच एंड देयर इज ओनली वन आर क्लास बिकॉज yesterday was uh, that was uh, a new year event that's why i'll relieve the class at 5 o'clock 5 10 so it's only one hour class so in the last class we have started with chapter number 18 as well as the practical approach of the uh, statement practical approach of the looping right so uh, let's take a quick review what we have covered in the last class about chapter number 18 that is graphics under windows so this is chapter number 18 that is how to use the graphics under the windows that is a uh, uh, window programming we are using or we are using the windows programming so how to use the graphics like xy coordinate uh, yz coordinate z coordinate so how to use the graphics under the windows that is the chapter number 18 in this there are various topics like first topic is graphics as of now then device independent drawing hello windows drawing shapes types of pens available types of brush available code and their resources freehand drawing paint brush style capturing the mouse that is how to capture the mouse device context a closer look that is how to use the device displaying a bit map animation and work that is how to use the animation in the windows then uh, how to use the on create function how to use the on timer function and few more points few more points means few uh, more points that is related to the animation then windows uh, that is a endless word that is never ending uh, technique that is a windows then there is a summary and then at last there is a exercise so these are the various topics that we have or we are going to cover in the chapter number 18 so let's start with this one we have studied about this thing in the last class that is how to use the colors how to use the different shape that is available in ms dos um, uh, uh, like character oriented interfaces of ms dos this says uh, various techniques or various graphs are used in ms dos uh, and in the same way there is a gui that is a graphical user interface that provides the graphical ability of windows that played a important role in the success story that is uh, the graphical ability that is the graphical user interface provides a, a better ability or the very important role in its success story once you get a hang of how to draw inside a window it would open up immense possibility that you never thought were possible that is uh, you were pos- taking the new techniques for which you can use the graphical user interface so there are techniques are available in it then we have studied about graphics as of now that is what are the graphics that is available till now till up to date what are the graphics that is available in the ms dos this is a uh, world has progressed much beyond 16 colors and 640 into 480 resolution graphics that turbo c++ or c compiler offered under ms dos environment that is a uh, world has gone much beyond this concept that is 16 color that is uh, uh, around 640 into 4 480 resolution graphics this 40 into 480 means one is the row and one is the column resolution graphics today we are living in a world of 1024 into 768 resolution offering 16.7 million colors so in the today's world we are living in a world of 1024 into 768 resolution that offers more than one more than 16 color that is around 16.7 million colors graphical menus icons colored cursor bitmaps wave files animation are the order of the day so these are the various options that is available uh, in the today scenario that is how to use the graphics icons menus 
cursor bitmap wave files animation like so on so much so that a 16 color graphics program built using turbo c working on a poor resolution almost hurts the eye that is uh, what we have covered is uh, in the today's scenario is totally different that is available that is graphics as of now moreover with the whole lot of windows api function to support graphics activity there is so much that can be achieved in a graphic program under windows that is available under windows that is how to use the windows in it i'm sure that this chapter will help you understand and appreciate the new capability that is what are the new capabilities that is available under the windows what are the new uh, graphic technique that is available under the windows then next one is device independent drawing that is how to use the uh, device independent or what is the device independent drawing that is uh, how to draw the images how to draw the graphics with the uh, independent or how to draw the images with the devices that is a device independent drawing this is windows allows programmers to write the programs to display text or graphics on the screen without concern over the specifies of video hardware that is window programming also allows the programmer to write the programs to display text or graphics on the screen without taking care of the uh, video hardware that is uh, without taking care of the dimensions of the hardware window programming simply shows the graphics on the screen a window program that works on VGA that is uh, violet green uh, uh, sorry video graphics array that is a VGA display will will work without modification that is a window program that works on a VGA that is a video graphics array that will work without any modification on an SVGA or on a XGA display that the Windows supports that is either it uses the SVGA or XGA that Windows supports that is uh, covered or that is done by the Windows programming under VGA then uh, next point says the key to this is device independence is window that is, that is the device that is used for that uh, device independent is the windows that is used of a device context we will explore how the device context can be used for, for both the graphics and the uh, uh, for the both the text and the graphic output and how using the device context keep our programs from interfering with each other on the screen that is how to use the device independence and how uh, devices are independent with each other in the windows that is using the device context or context this says during the original design of windows one of the goal or one of the goals was to provide provide device independent or independent that is uh, during the original design of windows that is the original design what we have covered in the windows one of the goal or one of the aim was to provide device independence that is this is a goal that is uh, available that is how to provide the device independent that means the same program should be able to work using different scre uh, screens that is different programs are using or different uh, devices are used that provides or that is available that provides the device independent under the same program that is more than one program should be able to work using different screens keyboard printers without modification to the program that is they are using or they are they should be able to work using different screen keyboard and printers without being modification to the program Windows also take care of the hardware that allows the programmer to concentrate on the program itself. If you have ever had to update the code of an MS-DOS program for the latest printer, plotter, video display or the keyboard, you will recognize device independence as a huge advantage for the developer. In, same in, the, um, uh, in simple terms, that is no program is dependent on the device that is they are device independent that is one program is also executing on the ms dos but another program is also executing on the windows that is they are available on the different devices on the different platforms that is they are not 
device independent they are not dependent on the device simply they can execute with each other at any time of or at any point of time next point says window program do not send data directly to the screen or the printer that is windows programming do not send that is they do not provide the data directly or they not do not send the data directly to the screen or the printer that is a windows program uh, a window program knows where the output is being sent that is where the outputting is, is being sent or from where it is going into the output however it does not know how it would be sent there neither does it need to bother to know this that is how it will achieve that is done by the windows programming that is how screen or the uh, output uh, is being sent to the devices this is because windows uses a standard and consistent way to send the output to the screen or the printer so this is the main reason why windows uses the standard way to uh, give the or provide the standard way to send the output to the screen or the printer this standard way uses an entity known as device context or simply a dc so this standard way that windows provided for uh, sending the output on the screen that standard way is known as the dc that is a device context or the uh, yeah device context or simply known as the dc different dcs are associated with different devices that is there are different device context that is available with different windows with different devices for example a screen dc is associated with the screen printer dc is associated with the printer that is uh, as uh, there are so many uh, windows so there are so many devices that is available this says a screen dc is associated with the screen printer dc associated with the printer in the same way plotted dc is associated with the plotter in the same way keyboard dc is uh, associated with the keyboard that is there are so many devices that is associated with their printers or their devices any drawing that we do using these uh, dc is directed to the screen that is any device or any any drawing that we make with the help of these device context that is directly connected to the screen that is they are directly showing on the screen similarly any drawing that is done using the printer dc is directed to the printer that is uh, if i'm drawing anything with the use of the printer by the use of the hard hard copy device that is a printer that is directed or that is uh, directed to the printer only suppose i am using i am giving the print command right in the windows programming for output or for taking the output so a printer dc is available that is used to direct the uh, or that is used to direct the printer that is used to approach the printer that printout is coming up therefore thus the only thing that changes from drawing to screen and drawing to printer is the dc that is used that is the uh, the simple thing or the only thing that is used or that changed from the drawing to screen and the drawing to printer is the dc that is used a window program obtains a handler that is the id value for the screen or the printer dc so it is the responsibility of the windows program that obtains an a handler that obtains a value that is the id value for the screen or the printer dc the output data is sent to the screen printer using its dc that is the output data is available uh, or sent to the screen or the printer that is using the dc and then windows and the device driver for the device taking care of the sending it to the real hardware that is output is simply sent to the screen or the printer that is using the dc and then windows and device driver for the device takes care of sending it to the real hardware the advantage of using the dc is that the graphics and the text command that we send using the dc are always the same that is the main advantage of using the device context with with uh, any any device that is uh, it is provides the or it is using the same dc regardless of where the physical output is showing up that is the the same look and feel the same activity the same dc is used regardless of or uh, regardless of uh, where the out physical output is showing up the part of the windows that converts the window graphic function 
goes to the actual command sent to the hardware is the GDI. So a program or the part of the uh, window that is available or uh, that is or that is available that converts the window graphics function that goes to the actual command that sent to the hardware is the GDI that is the graphics device interface. So GDI is a program that is also known as GDI 32.dll and is stored in the window security or the window system security. The windows environment loads GDI 32 dot dll into the memory so it loads the into the memory that is a window environment that loads the gdi32 dot dll into the memory when it is needed for the graphical output so whenever it is needed or available for the graphical output that is available for the gdi32 windows also loads a device driver program if the hardware conversions are not part of gdi32 dot dll that is when windows also provides or also loads a device driver program common examples of uh, device drivers are vga.sys that is a uh, for vga window screen and the hppc.sys for the hp laser jet printer so these are the various devices that is available drivers are just the program that assists the gdi in converting windows graphic command to the hardware command so Drivers are nothing but they are just the program that assists the GDI in converting Windows graphic commands to the hardware commands. So these are the driver that uh, that is available in uh, converting the Windows graphic commands. Therefore, uh, GDI provides all the basic uh, drawing functionality for Windows the device context represents the device that is providing a layer of abstraction so it is the responsibility of the gdi that provides all the basic drawing functionality for the windows the device context represents the device that provides a layer of abstraction that insulates application from the trouble of drawing directly to the hardware the gdi that is the gdi that provides also provides this insulation by calling the appropriate device driver in response to the window graphic function code so it is also used by or it is also used by calling the appropriate device driver in response to the window graphics uh, function calls next point is next topic is hello windows that is how to use the windows uh, next topic is your hello windows that is how windows can appear or how window will appear that is a hello windows so let's start with the hello windows topic that is how window looks like or how window look appears this says we will begin our art trust or trust with graphic programming that is we begin our, to our topic with graphics programming under windows that is how to use the win uh, graphics programming under the windows by displaying a message hello windows in different fonts that is how to display a window or how to display a message that is a hello windows in different fonts that is available right note that though we are displaying text under windows even text gets drawn graphically in the window that is we are displaying text under windows even text gets drawn or even text are also displayed graphically in the windows first take a look at the program given below before we set out to understand it that is first of all let's take a uh, uh, review on the program then move to the next step that move to the next topic the program is this one first of all there is a header file that is a hash include windows dot h so this is the first header file that is used that is a hash includes window dot h this is the header file that contains multiple library function that is available. Then next is hash include helper.h. So helper.h is also a header file that is available that also contains some predefined functions. Then void on may paint h w n d then void on destroy that is h w n d. So first is void that is a uh, that is a return type that is uh, on paint. This is the function name and this is the argument that is hwnd 
and void is also a return type and the function name is on destroy and the argument is hwnt then the same int std call win main so this is the also the function or this is the starting phase that is a win main that is a main entry gate for the windows programming then there are different arguments one is h instance h instance h instance h previous instance lpstr that is the variable name is lpsj cmd line int and cmd show so these are the various uh, argument that is used under the win main then there is a variable declaration that is the msg m so msg is the uh, type def and the m is the variable name then uh, the this is the comment that that is shows that performs uh, application initialization so this is a comment that will not executed by the compiler or that will not uh, interpreted by the compiler by the uh, windows programming that uh, that is displaying only for the user friendly or for user uh, convenience it is showing that is a perform application initialization then there is a init instance that is available that is initializing or uh, initiating with the instance that is initializing the instance and there are three arguments in this one is one is h instance one is ncmd show that is of integer type one is text that is displayed within the double quotes then this is the main message loop that is available that is the main message that is uh, what shows or how it will appear this shows while get message m percent m null zero zero so while is the loop that is used and the get message is the function m percent m this is the address of the m this is one of the argument then null then zero zero null is the mm, keyword that is available and zero zero these are the various dimensions then there is a dispatch message m percent m so one get message is used to simply get the message not for displaying only for getting the message and dispatch message is used for displaying on the screen that is a dispatch message and there is a m percent m then uh, next part is your return zero that means at the end there is a return zero because we have we have we have used the int std call so whenever we use the int so there is a return zero at the end of the program then there is a closing of the curly braces then there is a next part that is a l result callback the same program that we discussed in the last uh, chapter that is a uh, that is based on the message that is a l result callback wnd procedure that is a window procedure that is a l result callback then there are various arguments one is hwnd hwnd so hwnd is the keyword and a small hwnd in the name of the variable then uint that is unsigned int and the uh, variable name is message then w param and the variable name is w param l param the variable name is l param then there is a curly brace start then there is a switch case that is used that is a switch message switch message then there are various cases for the first case is wm destroy if it is wm destroy then simply calls a function that is a on destroy function and uses the variable as a argument as a hwnt then there is a break then another case is wm paint that is if it is paint then call the function that is a on paint that is hwnt and there is a break statement then default default mean if it is this one then it is okay this one it is okay otherwise that is default return def window procedure that is a default window procedure and these are the various argument that is used so this is the switch case for this one till here this is the switch case right then there is a return zero why we are using the return zero because we are using the int main then this is a closing brace uh, for this opening brace then there is a, vo a void on destroy so this is the definition of this one this is a function calling and this is the definition of this function that is void on destroy so on destroy is a function void is a return type then hwnd and hwnt so these are the various argument that is used then post quit message 
this is a message that shows and there is a argument that is a zero that is a post quit message then next is void on pain this is the first function that is calling or on destroy another one is on pay that is used then hwnd hwnd then there is a hdc and there is a small hdc paint instruct or paint construct then there is a ps h font there is a h font log font f equals to zero that contains only zero then sg diob j hold font that is also used as an argument that is a hold font is a variable then care pointer fonts so this is a font is a uh, pointer that contains the or font is a pointer that contains the character value or it is an array of the character when there are various arguments in this like Arial, times new roman comic sans ms then there is a next part that is the int i that is variable is declared 